probably embers. And those yep. shadow hawks are going to be brawl config. And looking over on House of Lords, we do in fact see that uh, they have brought. What are their light mechs? Their light mechs appear to be an ember, two embers, and a Jenner. And they, it looks like, are taking down a position just south of this cap point, trying to get good eyes on the RJF team. They do see a few of RJF's lights moving south into the city towards dropship. Uh, what do you think is going through the head of uh, the lords when they see, you know, actually, RJF is doing a good job. They are trying to kind of conceal their lights, but they're getting. The number is to... being exposed. Go ahead. I'm just going to state for the record that the Lords is here on the low side. They are in red with the nine Shadowhawks and the three lights. And RJF is going to be blue on your screen at the upper side with the six heavies and the six lights. Now, RJF is actually holding back. They may want uh, House of Lords to push into them because they know that if don't, then they can split off one or two of those lights, go cap theta, and put a bit of pressure on. Not just that, but it looks like those cataphracts being piloted by No Fear and RJF Volkadov are, in fact, snipers. And they're actually sitting all the way back, almost by the spawn. So it looks like they have no aggression, uh, no intention of pushing on this. The problem being, though, is that uh, Lords are actually up on caps. It's only slightly, but they are up. Which means that if RJF wants to play this passive style, they either have to uh, dedicate mechs to taking Theta, or make a push at some point, because otherwise uh, Lords will sneak by with a squeaky three to four point win on caps. Doesn't look like either, time has taken, uh, either team has taken major damage. PS642 in RJF Spider 5D has taken a couple hits from PPCs from the Shadowhawks. Uh, neither side is actually putting down that many strikes. As we speak, yeah. RJF is moving up to the pocket, abandoning their deep position. They're still fairly stationary. They do look like they're prepping for a push, or at least the closest support. It does look like Lords have seen this, however. They dropped down an Artie on that hill. Uh, I think they know something is up. Eglar was just on the other side of the dropship, so he may have spotted that movement. Uh, we still see the Shadowhawks on the other side of the dropship, uh, jumping, popping shots. Ooh, a big airstrike goes down. Or it looked like a big airstrike. Don't think it hit anything. It goes down in nope, the pocket. So, yep. So in fact, Lords Lords does know that uh, RJF is sitting back there, and they are ready for it. But damage on each team looks fairly negligible right now. I think Lords has slightly lost the trade, but not by much. Uh, Artie goes down on the Lords point, but not much damage taken. Looks like those cataphracts have pushed down for RJF and are now jump on the hill. Oh, that Artie could be big though. Not a ton of damage, but uh, a nice shot by Lords there. So it looks like we're, we are seeing somewhat of a, a passive game with lots of air already and each team sniping. Now here's a question for you. Have those K2s been scouted? They've seen the cataphracts for sure, but have the K2s been scouted? Because if they push think... rocket here, it'll be right into the warm, welcoming embrace of those AC-40s. I think uh, Lar was on the south side of the dropship. He, might, he may or may not have seen them, but I don't know for sure. One of these cataphracts actually did take no fear, took a lot of damage on that last arty strike. Uh, Lords have been very proactive in putting them on those two cataphracts while they've been jump sniping. We see Heim going up, maybe trying to drop another one here in just a second. Uh, it doesn't look like Lords are in a rush to push. I think they know that they are up on caps and they don't have to do anything right now. One thing I'd like to see is just RJF sending just just one of them on the Theta. Behind? Or oh, one he's gonna be going behind to drop for sure. an arty strike. Or he could get caught out. He, he's Right now he's uh, got the advantage of only being one-on-one, -on -one, but he's pushing into the enemy team, and at two lights from the House of Lords are going to push on him, and two Shadowhawks he's taking a ton of damage, going down to 63%. He's going to go down. He's not going to make it out. Lords is going to be a kill. RJF seems he to be reacting down. to this. Actually, no, they're not. They're just holding their position. Yeah, I mean, it, it is Conquest, so they don't... Uh, they don't act, have to do anything about it, but they are down on caps. So that means that's two things playing against them. Uh, not only are they down in max, but they're down in points. So we do see Peepers getting a little bit out of position, taking some damage from these two spiders and one of those cataphracts. But both teams are just kind of sitting back and no fear uh, is down playing. to fifty percent in that cataphract. Yeah, he's he's, he's taking absolutely a... savaged. I'm gonna check and see what his actual points are at. I'm pretty sure that's an XL build. He's legged. No fear is legged. Wow, that's that is. Oh, and that arty strike. 
Did that take him down? No. But that also brings down that other cataphract, RJF Valkadov, down to 58%. Both of those mechs are in a lot of trouble. And PS642 and the Spider for RJF is also down about 60%. And for light, that is not healthy. They no fear is actually at pretty decent ar armor on most of his components, but he is missing an arm and a leg, which is where that deficit is coming from. That does mean House he is Lords. not very mobile. House of Lords hasn't gotten out of this unscathed. They've taken damage to both Seleth and... RJF is pushing in, though. Big RD strikes go down. They haven't lost anything yet on the push, and they're pushing in. Uh, Lords has actually moved back to the edge of the dropship and by their point, but uh, RJF is pushing in with these uh, K2s. One K2 goes down. They're still trying to keep this push going, and it looks like Lords is slightly split up in these buildings, but a UAV is up, which means that they're going to have perfect scouting. One mech, Heimdallite, does go down in a Shadowhawk, and these K2s are getting in amongst the opponent, uh, dealing a lot of damage, but in return, RJF is just being punished by these mechs on the other side of the dropship. We see Aduevo and and one of the other Shadow Hawks have jumped up on top of the dropship and are just putting a ton of shots into their back. Uh, it looks like RJF only has four mechs remaining to House of Lords, 11 mechs remaining. And I think that this is going to be a game. Uh, this is going to be game. I just can't help but wonder if that's too little too late. You're trying to get two of your guys working in those cataphracts against the entire enemy team, and they were just getting consistently striked while the K2s were held in reserve. And, I mean, it's good to have those K2s healthy, but like we saw last night with the 2 2 8 match versus Death Met Band, you can't hold off on pulling the trigger so long that you have no nothing else to support them with. Because by yeah. the time they did that push, those cataphracts, at least one of them, were, were legged. It couldn't keep up with the movement and make it to the dropship. Yeah, honest, I think had they... When they initially put those cataphracts on that southern hill... I think they should have put a couple shots down from there to sort of let Lords know where they were and kind of draw a little bit of fire, and then they should have used that as kind of a smoke screen and put their mechs up pocket, maybe on both sides. I don't like just pushing out of pocket because it is so clustered for airstrikes and arty. And then had they pushed from there using those cataphracts uh, as a little bit of a distraction and then jump the cataphracts up onto dropship, they might have been able to split Lords enough that the K2s could have handled everything on one side and the Cataphracts could have put shots into the back of anything that tried to get behind them.